Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun tour, and welcome to the island of Corn Patch. I am so excited. If you are a lover of Storybrooke ACNH, you know that this was coming out and she finally released it. I'm so excited to get into this island. It's a beautiful fall island. It's so perfect for the season. Let's not wait. Let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Okay, so clearly there is a lot of path work going on. Um, you can see just how much very little to no waterways on here. Uh, it looks like there's one in front of the main house, just a little one, and then a tiny little one in front of the shops in the back. Definitely a set residential type area. Uh, the houses are kind of clustered over to the left. Let's take a look at our villagers. We have Goose, Elmer, there's Plucky, Winnie, Shep, there's Pearl, Molly, Gala, Gabby, and Dom. And of course the dream address is at the bottom. So if you want to type that in and come explore with me, that's amazing. Do it now. Otherwise save it for another time. And as always, it'll be in the description along with the creator's information. So you can go and support them as well. Now that we've said all that, let's head in to Corn Patch. All right, coming out. We all know that that's an indicator of what this island is going to hold. And already it's so cute. You can see fields. You can see the corn itself growing. You can see the barn in behind. I think it's going to be so good. There's a few little gifts that are left here by the airport as well. A little maple leaf uh, pinwheel. We'll pick that up. Little handhelds. Oh, a red balloon. I love carrying the balloons. And chocolate cone. I think we're going with red balloon because... I love a good balloon. Now let's head into the island. I'm thinking first though, can we just, can we just take a minute to appreciate this? You're literally coming out of the airport and already the builds and the customs and the background, it's just beautiful. I'm so excited. We are gonna go to the left though to start our tour. Oh, the beaches are done. It's just the cutest little picnic area down on the beach. And then look at the bikes. Like, this is just so inviting. Then over the little bridge. More views. More houses. More barns. Like, it's giving city, but like rural. You know what I mean? Look at that. That's so cute. That's like old schoolhouse feelings when I look at that. That's so good. Now there are a few things about the island that I do know. I do know that villager houses are decorated. I also know that the main house is not. So we probably won't head into the main house knowing fully that it's not decorated and we'll just stick to the villager houses. Oh, there's Dom. Speaking of which, we come to our first one and look at the... F oh, there's a little park. It is a... Okay, it is a schoolhouse. I literally just guessed that based on not even paying attention to the fact that there's a yard beside it. Um, but just panning up and seeing the build, I was like, that looks like an old school. And clearly it is, but I'm so glad we found the little park. Because look at the little customs on the ground. Look at the little birds. So good. All right, back to what we were doing. We're in the villager area and look at the fields and the far, like the yards are so cute. You've got the shed in the back. Look at the little custom clothing on the clothesline. You've got all the fields. It's all pathed out. It's so cute. And this villager is home. So I'm super excited to go inside and see what they've done. It's Shep's house. Shep needs to make his bed. He's got a very messy bed. But I like the simplicity of his house. He's a little... Oh, he's got the cowboy hat hanging on the wall, which is so cute. But I love... It's simple. He's got his little living room. 
He's got his desk, his little workbench. I love the little matching mats by the workbench and by the desk. And he's got his messy little room socks on the floor. Too cute. Back outside. And, oh, look at the tractor tracks. How cute is this? The customs are phenomenal. Like, uh, we've already barely started, and I'm, like, literally obsessing. We do have another yard. Can I get to it? Yes, look at the bag on the ground, the dogs everywhere. But look at how cute these houses and the yards are. Literally obsessed with this right now. And this villager is also home, so let's go inside and check it out. This seems oddly familiar. <laughs> it literally looks like Chef's house with a few minor changes. Same clock, which is hilarious. Mind you, the outside of the house was very similar as well, but I love this with the matchy-matchy rugs. And then the couch, but this time the couch is dirt. Was the couch messy at Chef's house? I can't even remember when we were just there. Oh, cowboy hat on the wall. I love it. I love this. That is too cute. Oh, look at the little shovel digging the hole because they're planting things. Little details, I'm telling you. Look at the tractors everywhere. The tractor tracks. Is that the... Oh, that's the barn where we came in. I was like, what is this build? Did I miss something? We did not, in fact, miss anything. Look at how good these yards are, though. This villager's not home, so I'm slightly disappointed. But I love that the houses are all very similar. I love all the fields in the front, the little roadways, like the whole thing. Oh! E-I-E-I-O! Okay. That's adorable. We're into another villager yard. Again, the same thing. I love the little fields and the stuff planted. Like, it's just so cute. And I'm going to use the word. I'm going to repeatedly spam that word because that's exactly what this island is. It's so cute. They are home. Let's go inside. It's Elmer's house! Or, no, that's not- Oh, I'm sorry, you're not Elmer. Excuse me for saying that. That was a horrible thing of me to say. It's the horsey house. I feel terrible, but I, I got excited because I came in and I was like, it's the same! But different. The hat, different on the wall. Different furniture, but set up in the same style, only there's a table set up here. The bed's made. But I love that all the houses have a very similar layout to them. And I'm so sorry I called you Elmer. Continuing on is that and that's resident services i think what i'm gonna do is go up one side and do all these houses and make our way around the back and then come around i think that's my best option for seeing this island we are into oh look at how cute look at the little farm stand set up outside of the house you've got the pumpkins and potatoes and the tomatoes all in the little baskets and then you have the preserve set out there's baked goods and actual pumpkins. That is so cute. I can't, I'm gonna spam it. There's no, there's no other word. This is so good. And this villager is home as well. So let's go inside and say hello. It is Gala's house. And again, similar. Literally the same layout as our last house, only pink furniture, pink mats, little teacup. The little subtle differences are so cute, and yet it feels so different. Just little furniture changes, color changes, but the layout remains the same, and I think that's so good. And this, this is by far my favorite so far. This is like the cutest house the little piggy bank on top of the armoire yes please this is so good
the little bees by the hives and then little details like this the little bee in with the potatoes how cute it's all about the details and this island is like so detailed it's crazy we gotta go this way pass to get to the next house look at the farm stand here as well you've got the fruits and vegetables the carrots and the corn you've got the preserved the wheat i love that they have the turkey wheat decoration because there's actual wheat growing in the garden and then you have the bread out as well they are not home but just a moment to appreciate the yards they're so good all right continuing along oh look at this yard how do i get in there oh i can go up this way they've got they're doing the gardening in this yard and that's so good you've got all the You've got the basket of stuff that they're harvesting, but then you've got the wheelbarrow, the shovel digging, the holes. You've got all the potted plants to go in, as well as all the soil. The yards are so good. So good. We have another villager yard. And the same thing. They're doing gardening and maintenance work on this one. Are those ants? Are those customs for little ants on the ground? I don't know what those ones are. If you know, let me know. But I think they're ants. I think? But look at this. I love the shed in the back. The ladders. Like, there is so much detail in just these yards and the houses. It's insane to me how much work had to go into the layout of this, the planning of this. It's so pretty. It's so good. And this villager's home... So let's go inside and say hello. Again, I am obsessing over the fact that the houses are the same, but subtle differences. Different colors, different things on top of the armoire, different food on the table. This one has pancakes, cutting board on the little sink instead of like the cake I think or pie that was in the other one. This is so, the houses are adorable. Literally so cute and I love that they're all like cookie cutter but not. Because they all have little differences and it's so good. Back out. I want to make sure, okay we're down at the side. I want to make sure that we haven't missed any houses or any yards and so far I think we're good I don't think we've missed anything I just want to make sure before we head to the back but I don't think so because I think it's resident services over here and I think we've seen yes we've seen all the yards I just want to make sure I don't want to miss anything the houses are so good and the yards are just incredible all right we're just gonna follow the path See where it takes us, and it takes us, oh, to a dairy, a dairy farm. Look at the little cows in the back, in their little pens. Look at the wheat in front on the bucket, and the mushrooms. I think, are the rare mushrooms supposed to be like animal nuggets? Because that's what I feel that they are and look like. And I think that's clever and also hilarious. But this is so cute. Look at the cow. And the cows look so happy. Like, who wouldn't be on this island? They look like they're so well taken care of. Then you've got the little... You can buy the fresh milk right from the dairy. Look at the customs on the big tank. And on the little area where you can buy them. I was going to call them shelves. They are not shelves. I just get so excited. It's so cute. There's fresh ice cream. Like, this is so cute. So good. Look at the little area where you can sit. Oh, this is where you could... What am I doing? No, I don't... I could react, but not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my... There we are. Get my chocolate cone because we went to the dairy. Oh, so when you're taking pictures of the island, when you take your... It's like little props that you can hold. I love that. I love that we got our dairy. Look at this far. Oh, this is the little 
Waterway and pond of the... Oh, how cute is the main house? How cute is this view? I have to go into camera mode. Oh no, there's a tree in my way. I wonder if you can get the tree out of the way. Oh, I don't know if there is. There is, but then I don't get as good of a view. But how pretty is this yard and this house? Look at the fields. Can I walk in front of it? That is so good. That is like a classic farmhouse. I love that they use the simple panels in front of the house to give it that like old farmhouse feel. Oh, it's so good. And then you have all the fields and the crops. Oh, look at the shed in behind, like the barn. That's so good. Now, I did say that the main house wasn't done, but it never hurts to go inside and just check just to be thorough. So let's go inside anyway and check it out. Okay, we did our due diligence. We went inside and clearly we were not incorrect. However, that floor, is that like a custom floor? Because it's really cute. So I feel like the intent is to maybe at some point do the house. I don't know, but I'm kind of obsessing over the floor. So I'm kind of glad we did come in. Back again outside and still obsessing over this. Look at how good these fields are and the, oh, the views. So cute. Oh, fresh egg. Is that in behind? Can we get over there? I am wondering if we just, oh, you can. Oh, look at the little park set up over here. Okay, those have to be, it's ants, right? Like 100% those are little ants because there's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the ground and I feel like the ants are going over towards it from this little picnic but the park area so good and we found the campsite and it's attached to again just more parts of a park like there's a little soccer field and then you come across how good is this campsite They've got everything set up over here. You've got the cooler, the chairs. They've got the little outside stove. Fish that clearly they've caught right in the water. This is a tremendous campsite. This is so good. Oh, I love that. All right, what is... The, okay, it's the dairy. I just want to make sure that we literally miss nothing because this island is in... Incredible. I can't get over the detail. What is closed? Oh, this is a dump. I'm guessing this is, yes, a garbage dump or some sort of, yeah, it looks, it says trash, but it's clearly closed. I love the close and the customs on this island are incredible. I love that there's this little, this garbage area. The builds are insanely good insanely good can i keep going across from the garbage yes literal garbage area and that brings you oh there's more trash down here the secret beach is part of the dump oh i love it and there's the ants i'm convinced that's what they are they could be something else but to me 100 percent ants but i love that there's trash on the ground as well so good. Now we're right behind the main house and there's farm fresh eggs. Like the amount of detail on this island and building it right to the back and still doing builds and customs right to the edge. Like this could just be yard, but it's completely pathed out and detailed. Like that is crazy. Then you come to again another little barn like shed type thing I love the tractors everywhere the customs I love the red 
on the simple panels for like the red shed or red barn and then the build up behind and beside it's so good oh look at the rake i love that custom the rake on the ground and then you have the vaulting pole as the handle oh there's a rat on the ground as well that's too funny there's a rat because there is the whole dump trash area over there what do we have? Another bar. Oh, there's bunnies in a pen. Look at the straw on the ground. This is what I'm talking about when I say insanely detailed. Like, this is so good. The little rabbits in the pen. And then up beside the main house, there's apple picking. That's so pretty. You got the little cash register where you can pay. There's apples all over the ground. There's like preserves and things you can buy. Get the leaves all over the ground. I bet you that looks so pretty at night. Just all lit up. That's incredible. And then in front of it. Oh, I love. I love movie in the park areas. That's so good. Look at the hay bales set up. There's little bags on the ground little pillows snacks like it's so cute the photo opportunities also on this island are ridiculous so good we are now coming up to nook's cranny and abel sisters okay we went to the wrap so i want to make sure we're not missing anything oh there's pumpkin carving and pumpkin painting. Like people just doing fall pumpkin art. Look at the seeds and the pumpkin guts all over the ground. Again, the customs are crazy good. Not to mention how much time and effort do you need to come up with the ideas to fill all these areas. Path them out. Find the customs. Like that's crazy to me and it's so detailed and so good okay and again we'll go to around to nook's cranny but i want to follow the back because again the amount of detail that's in the back look at these pig pens the little pig farm so cute so detailed and then you get there's sheep on the other side, the little barns that are everywhere. This may be my number one favorite farm style island that I've come across. It's just so good. Not to say others aren't phenomenal. I'm just saying this is by far one of the best that I've ever come across. This is so good walking around i'm just following the path look at the little chicken this is what i am talking about with detail the little chicken that's roosting in the little box over by oh the, is that corn patch is that a rooster and a cow i wish i could get down there there's literal rooster and a cow on the other side of this and then like a little diving area that's so good following the path you come to able sisters and i love the little detail with the curtains out front the pumpkin set out the simplicity of it and then nook's cranny is kind of like a tractor supply store you've got literal like tractors for sale there's gas you can go in i love the balloons everywhere like they're having a big sale oh that's the park what is this? Pumpkin patch with the ants. Because I'm telling you, they are ants. 100% they are ants. And then a pumpkin latte. That's so adorable. Little space filling builds. How do you even come up with this? And where do you find the, like, the customs for this? Like who is that talented? Again, it's pixel art. I tried to do Winnie the Pooh a long time ago. And let me tell you, it was horrific. And just doing Winnie the Pooh on one little standee took hours of my time. So the people that can come up 
with these such detailed customs and then create them blows my mind. Oh, look at the little hay rides. Five cents. So cute. And then you've got the tractor pulling the hay along with the tracks everywhere. This is so, it's just so good. All right, going down another level. Okay, we were over there. So we're going to go to this side of resident services and just follow the path. Oh, look at the look. It's like a farmer's market. You've got all the produce. You've got all the honey, the preserves. This is so good. You've got a flower shop. I love that. I love the market. You've got the dairy, of course, because there's a whole big dairy at the very back of the island. Again, the produce. It is a farmer's market. It's got the sign in it. I knew it just from coming from behind. For the farmer's market open daily. I want to live on this island. I've said that about other islands. Like, want to live here. It's so good. It's a little ATM just in case you need money for the market. All right, going down again. Oh, there's a little cost. Okay. I kind of like skipped an area, so I'll go back. But how good is that? Look at this little camp area, and it's completely customed out. Look at the dock leading into the water with the ducks. Are you kidding me with how good that is? That's so good. I am, I am obsessed with this island. I'll go back because there was a yard. In a villager house but I was very distracted by that pond how good was that then you have the yard with all the and it looks like corn growing like corn patch is the perfect name for this island so absolutely wonderful all right going across you come to just another part of this whole camping area with the custom pond that is here. And then you have another camping area all set up with the stove and the trays and the area to picnic. So absolutely good. And then you come to another tractor with the tracks going through the trees and another villager yard again with the corn and the the fields if i could get the words out so good the customs i can't get over just how incredibly detailed and good this island is and then back to the airport where we started with the main barn oh my goodness corn patch 100 percent you need to come to this island it is absolutely phenomenal one of the most detailed farm style islands or towns that i've ever come across 100 percent come and visit i am however going to end my tour here i want to thank you guys so so much for coming along with me for exploring for listening if you had as much fun as I did as if you got as excited as I did do not forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and as always guys thank you so so much for coming along with me for listening to me for just hanging out for commenting everything it means the absolute wor world to me and as always you know I'm gonna be back with more Animal Crossing videos